morning, good evening to everybody that belongs to somebody. How you doing? So today we are doing my wash day routine in my mini braids because we still there, we have not left. Um, this is me convincing. This is just me showing you why and how. No, this is me proving what a great idea mini braids are. Just, you know, just saying. Coming in voiceover. I'm so sorry for that noise. Anyway, moving along, we've now improvised. So what I do is I pre pull and how I pre pull is with my water and then my favorite oil, which is my mixture that I use. The reason why I use water, it's just to dampen my hair so that the oils can mix well on a mix well but it can penetrate easier into my strands than just putting it straight on to absolutely dry hair so i like to moisturize it a little bit just to give it just to give it that softness you know just to get into some kind of softness so what i do is i'm gonna section my hair now into two sections well a couple of sections depending on my mood um and then i'll go like half section it into half and then section that other section into half as you can see this was an epic fail because it started coming loose and i didn't have a clip and i was lazy so i don't soak my hair i don't make it soaking wet with the water i just spritz it you know just a damp situation just to get it a little bit softish you know if yeah just a little soft so i'll go over that section i damp my whole head so that you know that's it then i'm done oh the the greatness of mini braids and me having a whole wash day pre poo shampoo deep condition heat cap all in one day which is wow so just make sure that it's soaked right through or yeah just rubbed right through into my whole head and we've gone into the next section which was not even a minute and we on to the next section and then i'll dampen my next section do the same damp it all over my head and just make sure it's just you know right through it's just soft and just like i said it's not it's not soaking wet it's just it's just damp like a soft damp not even a tile dry damp just a barely anything so i just rub my hands through my hair again just to make sure that it's all over from the roots to the ends and i can feel that softness right across my hair Make sure and then if I feel any missing pieces, if I feel there's just a dry spot somewhere, I'll just spritz it again just to make sure that it's... Because I'm stubborn. And why can I not be stubborn when I don't have to do 21 sections and there's no finger detangling and oh, it's just amazing. So then after I've done all of that, I will go into... I'll tie up my hair again and then section that into on a half a section or a quarter section and divide that into two and that is when i start adding my oils which is great so look at that again two sections i probably like do about eight or ten sections on each side um well not each side but like ten sections in a whole i guess and i'll just put it through make sure it soaks in make sure i've got it all right from the roots to the ends on both ends and what i like to do is and you'll see it i'll do that right through my head after i've put the oil on i will then go with another little a little something something just for my ends because i like to make sure that my ends are properly coated i make sure that the oil entirely is properly coated onto my hair but my ends always get an extra a bit of extra love because they are the most fragile part of my hair so yeah then we're done not even again like i said we what four minutes and we are already moving on to the other half of my head which is you know in total and i timed this and i should have uh, because i eventually forgot to stop the timer but it took me like 10 minutes to do my pre poo which would have taken me in reality maybe an hour some change because that portion that you see there like that section that you see there would be divided probably into like three or four pieces like that portion and over my ear that 
block section of my ear would have been divided into four pieces and would have taken me at least an hour and some change to just do my pre-poo detang finger detangle like i said if you've watched my previous video and i'll link it down below or in the cards above of me pre-pooing and my sections that i do with my pre-poo and how long it takes and oh, it's a whole situation so me braids baby girl if you are a 15,000 step girl in your wash day because you're so obsessed about doing the things properly and have like ocd about anything or everything baby i cannot there's no reason for you to not do a mini braid situation especially in the winter time so i'm gonna keep quiet because i just can't brag and brag and brag about how freaking amazing mini braids are but yes so i'm gonna do this through my whole head leave you with a little tune so that you can see what i'm gonna do and then we move on to the next step i will see you after the pre poo <laughs> So a little quick one, look at pre-poo versus no poo. <laughs> look at that. Oh baby girl. That's what that's what the difference of just dampening your hair does when you do a pre-poo. I promise you, just dampening your hair. First of all, when you detangle A, if the rules are the rules, when you detangle, you don't detangle on dry hair, but like like I said, it's already in its little tiny section because, you know, and I'm just getting every inch of my hair. But yeah, so that's what a little pre-poo versus no poo versus with water does. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I'm keeping quiet. Let's carry on.
okay so we are now done with applying my oils and because i'm ocd i'm gonna go through it one last time anywho <laughs> um done with this and then what i'll do is now i will put my hair into a plastic shower cap and then my heat cap for what i like to do with my pretty poo especially in my mini braids because it's sectioned all over and the heat leaches everywhere i'll only do it for an hour but on a wash day which the math is just not mathing i kind of on a normal wash day list my mini braids i will sleep overnight with my pretty poo because i just feel like it needs more time to do its thing and then uh guys just a little little side note please don't forget to drink your water drink your water it's so important drink your water okay so heat cap time put it on keep it on there for an hour and then we'll see you back <laughs> come in happy things happy things okay so now we're gonna put on my deep conditioner still busy playing with me because i'm just so excited i was just like oh it feels so soft and i haven't even put in a deep conditioner yes i'm repeating that i like i was having a moment i promise you this wash day was playing with my feelings all the way around so now we're going in with the deep conditioner which is the dippity do girls with curls deep conditioner and the claims say nourish and detangle and restore dry damaged curly hair and she goes on to say this coil quenching cream treatment instantly restores suppleness to parched dry and damaged hair with natural moisturizers of avocado oil coconut oil shea butter and vitamin e oil mm. Mm -mm. smell test okay so to me this sound smells like the colgate shampoo the apple colgate shampoo and there i was having a moment thinking about it but i'm gonna i'm gonna put a picture because i want to find this and tell me and if you get this and you smell it just if you smell this and you live in south africa and you know what i'm talking about get it try it out so yeah reading this and then it says apply on clean damp hair from mids to ends and leave in for three to five minutes rinse out well use weekly or more often as needed okay so enough playing with my hair i was telling myself i need to wash my hair at some point so yeah let's wash our hair and be back time so just checking rule of thirds you know <laughs> uh another little hydration moment hydration moment hydration moment okay so yes washed my hair so I, I don't have a favorite shampoo well i lie i kind of sort of do have a favorite shampoo which is the holly's hair girl shampoo it it's it does something for me like my hair doesn't feel stripped but it feels absolutely clean it's just it's it's a thing it's a thing okay so now it's time to do let's put the deep conditioner in let's have let's do this okay so what i do is i section my hair into four sections and i'm gonna confuse the living hell out of myself so i section it into half and then i section that half into another half and then i section that quarter piece into another piece you'll see because i keep saying this and i'm trying to explain it but I'm not that good at explaining it so because with my deep conditioner i make sure that it reaches every single strand so look there half and then a half that and then i half that yeah very unnecessary not unnecessary to me it's not unnecessary to the world maybe but to me no okay so so i like to do a smell test although i did a smell test i like to just smell it one last time <laughs> but i just can't get over the fact that it smells like the colgate shampoo the apple flavor or apple scent i promise you okay so texture wise 
loving it. It's a, I can't explain, it's not a conditioner, it's not a deep conditioner texture. It's sort of like a soft jelly type, it's, it's confusing. Oh, but the slop, look at that, that was me just, uh, yeah. The slop on there is magnificent. And what confused me was, it immediately sucked up everything. I was like, uh, I think this is going to be great. I think I've just fallen in love. I think she's the one. I think she's the girl for me. So, yeah, I was like, okay, okay. I kept rubbing it. I was like, no, man. What is going on here? So, let's just have a little bit more, just for control. Because, I don't know, it was just, it was, I couldn't couldn't fathom i could not fathom so a little side note a little goes a long way with this deep conditioner honestly yes it's my mini braids are tiny and i don't need to use a lot but yeah we'll taste it when my braids are out but oh i was having a moment i was like no you are definitely gonna work upon application you are definitely gonna work i just need to make sure that my final application is great. I don't know. You know, I was like, mm, my method of application is great. So, yes, again, yeah. I was like, okay, should I section this? No, let's not be that unnecessary, Bianca. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. Apply and then add a little bit more to the ends. So, I don't want to speak over and over about the same thing because it's I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> up on a little deep condition versus a no deep condition look at the smoothness the stuff look, look at the other side this is nothing in my hair and this is just after my pre poo and it looks so shiny and so soft and look at the deep conditioner that's my new love okay moving on
okay so now we are done everything is in edges are laid this is without a deep condition without my heat cap look at that smoothness baby girl oh i'm so excited i'm telling you this is probably when you love edges are growing excited for my little edges growing situation <laughs> they've come a long way they've come a long way Okay, me being a little obsessed because this thing completely sucked in my hair and this was just the application which took about 15 minutes and it's already all sucked in my hair so I was like you know I'm just gonna put a little more just because I'm crazy and I was just I was overwhelmed by how beautifully this soaked into my hair I loved it loved it loved it so just let it add a little more just for control I don't normally do but this one just took it all in and I just had to just had to okay so we're done and let's move on to putting on the plastic cap and then we're gonna deep condition i did this for two hours this one i had to do for two hours i was like you just sucked everything in so i think you just i don't know i wasn't sure so i just you know I was like, okay you're gonna have a two hour situation i was telling myself they already two hours is you're gonna have it okay so putting on my heat cap and uh, my shower cap and now we're gonna put on the heat cap and we're gonna be done perfect girl done i'll see you on the finish <laughs> Okay, so we're done. I had it in for two hours. I sealed with my oil. My other oil, because that one is a little bit potent. So I sealed with my other oil. And this is what I'm left with. I was so happy. Like, this one made my day. I feel like this conditioner is going to be added to my favorites. Most definitely so if you stayed this far thank you so much and i will see you in my next one bye